This is the iBoss Cyclops filament dryer. It's brand new, it's on Kickstarter right now, and I'm gonna show you what it's all about. My name's Jim, and this is the Edge of Tech. So in this video, I'm gonna do a little bit different an approach. I'm actually gonna walk through the unboxing with you, and we're gonna check it out as we go. If you open it up, it says, hi, thanks for choosing iBoss. Get ready for your best printing experience. iBoss, enjoy. When we open it up, there's actually a really cool little note here just to me. It says, hi, Jim. Thank you for being our first batch of users. We appreciate your trust. Cyclops and Urus are in the box. Whoa, there's actually something new in the box too. Hope you enjoy them, iBoss. So we didn't talk about this, uh, I believe it's called Urus. We're gonna get to that, and I think you're really gonna like it. But thank you so much for that personalized note. You don't see that every day. We're gonna pop this open. Right after bat, everything's packed really nice. I'm gonna pull uh, all these little bearings out and I'm gonna set them right over here. A uh, user manual, some PTFE tubing. In the top here, we have uh, different plugs, which is nice, uh, depending on what country you're in. So that's cool that they give you adapters for the different plugs for your country. So I took the top layer of uh, foam off and as you see, the machine sits in here. So I'm gonna take it out carefully, starting with this here. Then there's uh, some cardboard. And the base right there. And that's it, nothing else in the box. So like we showed, the rollers, PTFE tubing instructions, different plugs for your country, the actual base, the top of the machine, and the box in here, we'll get to that in a minute. So to put it together, we take our roller assemblies and we set them in just like that. It looks like there's a little rubber gasket here that you can slide back and forth. So we're gonna put all four of those in. When you're putting them in, make sure your bearings are tight. Um, otherwise they will fall out until they're placed. So it looks like uh, we're in, there we go. All four of them are in. Now our rollers are in place. Next thing it says to do is take and put some PTFE tubing in your cover here so you can roll the filament out. It looks like there's a whole bunch of different places you can do that. There's uh, three across the top here. There are three across the back here. And there's actually two back here. So you can choose where you want your PTFE tubing to come out depending on your printer's needs and where you're gonna place this box. That is a really smart, smart thing to do. I'm not gonna put my PTFE tubing in uh, right now until I decide where I want this box. On the front of the box, you can see a hydrometer, so that measures your humidity. And when we're ready, we'll actually set the cover on just like that. Next, you wanna look at the plug that came with it. If this is the US plug. If that is not your current plug for your country, grab one of the adapters. This will plug into the back of the adapter like that, and then use that for your country depending on where you're at. Since we're in the US, we'll stick with the US plug. I got it plugged in and we're gonna power it on for the first time, so we'll hold the power button here. Here's your timer, and this is the temperature inside. It looks like 33.1 degrees Celsius. So this is your timer, so if you hit this button, it'll flash. Once it's flashing, you can actually tell it how long you want it to be on. In this case, we'll say, I don't know, one hour, and let's do five minutes or 10 minutes. We'll do one hour, 10 minutes. Hit the timer button again. Once you hit that button, this is your timer. Uh, you can go to your temp here, and we have it set right now at 70 degrees Celsius. Be able to raise that by pressing the button and then going up here or down here. And it looks like 70 degrees Celsius is the max, so we'll leave it at 70. We'll hit that button to keep it there. And now we have one, one hour, nine minutes left, so the timer is counting down. And this should be heating up to uh, 70 degrees Celsius. So in the booklet, they actually have recommended settings. So you can go through, figure out what filament you're gonna use, what temperature to set, and how long to set it for. Now this should drive down the moisture in the chamber and hopefully in the filament. According to the instructions, this should help keep moisture out of the filament while you're printing. If you're printing something like nylon, maybe it's a good idea to throw it in the box, set it to 70, and whatever time limit you need on your print. This is a really cool chart. I suggest you keep this chart or take a picture of it, something, but keep it around with your box. So what I've done real quick is I've taken my Ocean Blue Coax filament, this is PLA, and I did not put the uh, PTFE tubing in yet because I'm not sure where I want it. I might just cut little pieces and put them in all the holes just so I have uh, options kind of everywhere. 
and maybe that's what you're supposed to do. But uh, in this case, I didn't put it in. I just wanted to demonstrate how easy that this turns. It pulls real easy. It rolls really good on those uh, bearings. I'm gonna have to wind this all back up, but I just wanted to show you how easy that would pull out. So I'm not sure if you can hear this, but while it's running, it's not terribly loud. Uh, it must have a really good fan in there trying to, it must have a good uh, heater in there trying to blow the hot air into this chamber. I do feel it getting warm. Uh, there is vents up in the top here and it really is getting warm in that chamber. Uh, currently it says 43.6 degrees Celsius now. Um, we should probably dial that back for PLA because I did put PLA in there. Um, it says 50, 50 degrees Celsius, so I'm actually gonna click that and drop the temp down to 50, just so we don't get too hot for the PLA. So my initial impressions is this thing's actually built really well. I love the cover. I love the hydrometer. It says 57% humidity in there right now. I like that the screen is easy to read and it's easy to control. There's a power button right there. Uh, I really like that it came with the different adapters for your different countries. And I think it's time to dive into the mystery box right here. Now, if you check out their Kickstarter, they kind of give a hint and they show you what this is. Now it says right on the front, filament vacuum pump. This is something they sent me and I was not expecting it. On the note that they put in the box that we showed earlier, that says that this was in it. So I've moved over a little bit so we have some more desk space. So if we pull this out like this, you can see that there's actually looks like vacuum bags here. There's three vacuum bags. We'll put them back here. There's a user manual. So these are cool stickers. It says IBOS filament and date. So you can put those on your bags and we can set those right there. I don't know if you just heard, but the filament dryer just shut off. And I, I believe if I look, it actually reached 50 degrees Celsius. So it is an automatic filament dryer. It does turn off and on based on the temperature you set it at. That's really cool. Back to this. Let's take this out. Here's your instructions. And it looks like actually this is gonna be a vacuum pump. Now this is super cool. I've not seen this yet. Um, this is, it looks like it's called a Euros or Euros. Let's call, let's call it Euros. And it is a vacuum pump and vacuum bags for filament. So once you get it dry and you're happy with the uh, dryness of your filament, or if you get a new roll and you wanna keep it dry, this might be an awesome little thing. So uh, let's take a look inside here. So if we open the bag, we pull out the, oh, a little vacuum there. Uh, a little clip here, looks like probably to zip the bag. Um, this is a USB vacuum pump, so we can plug that into a USB adapter. There is a switch, so an on off switch there. And it does not give you the USB power brick, but it looks like you can use pretty much any of them. Here's the bags here. It looks like they're reusable, so you'll be able to take these little rubber bands off of them. And when you open that up, wow, this is cool. That is actually a, a, a vacuum bag. And it says IBOSS right there, filament vacuum pump right on the front. This is a really cool thing. Let's grab a roll of filament. All right, so I have a vacuum bag. I'm gonna open that up. I'm gonna stick a roll of Coex Mystery Filament in here because I wanna keep that dry. So it is in there now. We're gonna grab this little piece that it comes with and that is gonna go right over the top like a little uh, key here. And then you just go along and it actually seals that bag. Let's test this vacuum. I was gonna push the air out, but I think we should leave air in it. So I actually blew a bunch of air into this thing because uh, I wanna see how good it works. It looks like this part is sealed. We're gonna unscrew the top here. That gives you access to a little pink valve. I'm gonna turn that that way. So I got the vacuum bag here. Here's your valve. Here's the little vacuum it came with. It says IBOSS on there. Now you can see how shiny and nice that looks. It looks like a really nice finished product. Uh, we're gonna turn it on so you can hear it. So this is what it sounds like. When we set that on the bag, we're actually gonna screw it in. So I'm gonna, so I just shut it off. I realize there's actually threads. So I'm gonna uh, thread this on. So I threaded it onto the bag and now I'm gonna turn it on and we're just gonna let it go. So now we're getting to the end. The pitch has changed in the vacuum bag. You can see it's really tight around here, just barely sucking anything else. I can hear it and I'm gonna shut it off. What we got here is a fully vacuum sealed bag 
uh, that is reusable for filament. Let me unscrew it here and you can see the valve is right there and that is really pulling in here. So the vacuum worked really well. Uh, you put the cap back on it and now we have coax filament and a vacuum sealed bag. This is a super cool idea, especially if you kept the moisture out in the Cyclops dryer and you want to throw it back into a, a vacuum bag right away. This thing is, is super cool. All right, so we've been checking out the iBoss Cyclops and it is a brand new filament dryer on the market. This is, in my opinion, the nicest filament dryer that I've seen or tested on this channel and I really like it. Now, that being said, it's on Kickstarter. Do your research, uh, check out the company, all those things before you back it. I don't want to tell you to back this and something falls apart and you don't get it, but I tell you what, I like the company so far. I like the product. The product is really nice, and I do think this would be a great filament dryer for those of you who want to keep an active heat and drying solution. I just think overall it's built really nice. As you can see, I have one roll of PLA in there. You can put a big roll in if you want to. You can put two rolls in. You can actually put the smaller rolls in. Uh, all of those options are great. Um, I'm gonna probably just cut the PTFE tubing uh, into little pieces and then put them out through all of the vents. That way I can just use any of the holes I wanna use with the filament. Now, one of the coolest things about this is they sent me something called a Euros. We just showed it. It is a vacuum packing system and I have not seen one of these come out from like a 3D printing company yet. Uh, at least I haven't had one on my channel. So this will be the first. And this thing did a superb job. We can actively take some moisture out of the air and hopefully out of your filament. And we can put it in a bag like this. You can seal it up, maybe throw some desiccant in here. And you have a sealed roll of filament that's in a vacuum bag. They do give you some stickers. You can put a sticker on it tells you uh, what kind of filament it is, what date you put it in. Um, I like that a lot and it, you can probably make your own stickers when you run out because I think they only give you like three. And I really like the fact that they give you the little vacuum and it's USB. It worked pretty quick. It maybe took a couple minutes. And remember, I blew air back into the bag. Normally you would push as much air out as you can. So I just wanted to test that. But iBoss, nice work on this. Um, nice work on this. We are already down to 44%. Um, so the humidity inside of this chamber is going down. It's 50 degrees Celsius in that chamber right now, so you can definitely feel the heat coming off this thing. And I think Cyclops is a winner. Now, that is my personal opinion. Again, it's on Kickstarter, so be careful. Do all your research. If it was up to me, I'd probably go for the kit that has both of these in it because I think these two together is like a one-two punch. I do have faith that this is actually going to keep your filament drier while you're printing. Now, when it comes out, there's not much you can do there in the air, but hopefully it's coming straight out into your printer and you won't have to worry about too much of it being exposed to the air uh, before it prints. I do have to say that iBoss sent me this. I really appreciate it. They found me, they emailed me and I said, heck yeah, I'll try it out. Um, I know there's been a lot of Kickstarter stuff going on lately, but I really wanted to get this out there because I think this is a super cool product that some of you guys might want to check out and some of you guys might want to pick it up. Thanks iBoss for the personalized note. That was awesome. I don't think I've ever had anything come from a manufacturer with the exception of TH3D that had a personalized note inside. I don't know why, but that just, you know, it makes you feel cool. <laughs> makes you feel good, the warm and fuzzies inside. But uh, thanks for that. Thank you guys for watching the unboxing, the assembly, and the use of the iBoss Cyclops and the Euros vacuum packing system. Check it out on Kickstarter. All the links are in the description below. I hope you learned something today. Keep printing. What's up everybody? I hope you liked the video. Give me that thumbs up if you did. Hit that subscribe button and the little bell right over here if you want to get notified on Monday anytime we go live on Hot Mix or any other time we put out a video. You guys rock.